Hi, coming to you from my office this time. Uh, the noise in the background is the air conditioner. It's, it's really hot in Sydney, always. Um, so this is just another update for my uh, surgery on my ulnar nerve. Uh, just because I've had some complications. So I was at the hospital this morning and uh, got an update. Uh, for those of you who have not watched my previous videos or don't know, I had an ulnar nerve transposition on my right arm uh, on the 19th of December. And before that I had two um, surgeries on my decor veins to of tendon release and I also had a trigger thumb release. So. Waited hours in the hand clinic as you do. Uh, anyone who's been to Sydney Hand Clinic will know that experience. It is long, and the only good thing about it is the people watching. Anyway, getting to the appointment bit. Uh, so, if you didn't see my last video, my main problem at the moment is that my flexion as in the amount that I can bend my elbow is severely impaired. So I can only actively bend it this much and I can passively bend it just a tiny little bit more. Passively just means, you know, when I'm not doing it with that arm. And it's not that I'm stopping because it hurts. It, it's just, it's, it's stuck, it's stiff. I've also been getting some problems um, on the site of this earlier surgery tingling up into these fingers, pain around here, and pain, um, the surgeon actually said it was in the radial nerve around here. So, basically, it's a watch and wait situation, which is not really optimal. I have an hour of physio to do on my arm every day. I have to sit, or lay rather, for three, um, 20 minute periods if I can with a starting with a half kilo weight because I can't actually take much weight on my arm lying down and just letting it passively sit there a bit boring but I've got to do that also just got to be careful not to overuse this um, for six weeks and then we see how it goes Basically, the surgeon, Dr. Nicklin, said that was a very unusual uh, side effect, a very unusual um, complication. Uh, the registrar that I had had never seen it before, and we think that it was something to do with my arm falling off the bed after surgery because the surgery itself went really well. He was really happy with it so the fact that it's done this has something to do with that injury directly after surgery which is crap it's just really crap i'm i'm sort of bummed about it what's extra bummy is that uh he said this hopefully this is just it, the, the reason why it's Hurting is because it's being inflamed by, for instance, if I try and touch my face, I can't bend my elbow enough to touch my face, so I kind of stretch out my hand. If you can see how I'm doing that, like it's very awkward. Um, and hopefully, it's just that it's been bothered by this, but that one I'm facing additional potential surgery, maybe something else is going on there. And as for my elbow, uh, he just said, do those exercises, see how you go. And I said, what happens if it doesn't work? What if my arm doesn't start bending properly? And I've never heard him say this. He's usually very positive about things. Uh, he just said, Look, I'm not going to talk about that because 
because basically you would have to move to somebody else and there are very few surgeons that would want to take that on it's very difficult we don't really have the ways of dealing with it so the physio is going to work we're going to do physio and that's what he said and then I said are you serious that's I mean obviously I hope that the physio works and he said yes it's not something that's easy to fix people don't like to try even because it's it's hard and it's uh, very unfortunate so I'm a bit down about that to be quite honest with you I was expecting to hear not great news but to hear like the possibility that I don't have anything that I can do to fix this I walked into this hospital with for this surgery look the subluxation was annoying but it wasn't impairing my life all that much and now I can't touch my face or do my hair or eat or do my makeup with two hands uh, the physio said also not to type for more than 10 minutes at a time which is super annoying my uh, master's thesis is due in four weeks so wish me luck I can't put my arm back wish me luck bend all your elbows for me okay thanks I'll keep you updated